We're here to redeem the time. Welcome to Grade 7 Natural Science, Relationship of the Moon to the Earth, Gravity. If you're new here, be sure to click the subscribe button below. And in the description below, you'll also find links to other videos on gravity and to simulations. You will need pen and paper for the activities that follow. So pause the video now, get your pen and paper, and when you're ready, continue. What is gravity? And what does it do? If you travel upward fast enough, you can break free from Earth's gravity. On Earth, this escape velocity is 11.2 kilometers per second. When you jump, you experience gravity. Gravity pulls you back to Earth. If there were no gravity, matter would drift off into space. You, your body, the objects around you, the air around you would all drift off into space. This ball falls down at my feet. Which way will it fall? This orange falls down to my feet. The force of gravity acts towards the center of the Earth. Gravity is the force of attraction between two objects with mass. An object can also be called a body. It is something made of matter. Matter is anything that has mass and volume, takes up space. Matter is made of atoms. Mass is the amount of matter in an object. Mass is measured in kilograms, kg. The instrument to measure mass, we can measure it on a double pan balance, on a triple beam balance, on a bathroom scale, or on a digital scale. Gravity is the force of attraction between two objects with mass. If mass increases, the gravitational force of attraction increases. If distance increases, the gravitational force of attraction decreases. Mathematical relationships between variables. Let's look at the relationship between mass and gravitational force. When mass is one, gravitational force is one. When mass is two, gravitational force is two. As mass gets bigger, gravitational force gets bigger. This relationship is called directly proportional. Let's look at the relationship between distance and gravitational force. When distance is one, gravitational force is one. When distance is two, gravitational force is less than one, it's a quarter. As distance gets bigger, gravitational force gets smaller. This relationship is called inversely proportional. Isaac Newton formulated the universal law of gravitation. Every mass in the universe attracts every other mass. The size of the force acting on the objects is directly proportional to their masses and inversely proportional to the distance between them. In 1665, when Isaac Newton was a student at Cambridge University, there was a plague. The university closed and Newton went to his family farm. For about a year and a half, Newton studied alone at home. One day, he watched an apple fall from the tree outside his window, and he wondered. Could gravity extend up as high as the moon? An apple falls towards the earth. Does the moon also fall towards the earth? Could gravity be keeping the moon in her orbit? The moon is held in its orbit around the earth by the pull of earth's gravity. This is the path the moon would naturally take. The moon exerts a gravitational force on the earth. The earth exerts a gravitational force on the moon. So instead of continuing straight on its course, 
the moon is attracted towards the earth and the pull of gravity changes the path of the moon. Newton realized the moon travels in a circle because it has been continually pulled towards the earth. The moon is in free fall. The moon's forward velocity, its speed, keeps it from falling all the way down to earth. This is the Olympic hammer throw event. Let's think of the moon like the weight, the earth like the athlete, and earth's gravity like the athlete's hold. The moon, the weight, continues moving in a circle around the earth, the athlete, because of the earth's gravity, the athlete's hold. If there were no gravity, the moon would fly off into space. The Earth is held in its orbit around the Sun by the pull of the Sun's gravity. The Sun holds 99.8% of all the mass in the solar system. The Sun's gravity holds all the planets in their orbits. The gravitational force only becomes noticeable when the object is massive like the Earth, Moon or Sun. The closer the objects are to each other, the stronger the gravitational force of attraction. The pull of the sun's gravity is not noticeable to us on Earth because the sun is so much further away from us. The moon has its own gravity. The strength of the moon's gravity is one sixth the strength of the Earth's gravity. The greater the mass of the object, the stronger the gravitational force of attraction. An astronaut on Earth with a mass of 100 kilograms has a weight of 980 newtons. The same astronaut on, moon, on the Moon has a mass of 100 kilograms. His mass doesn't change because the amount of matter he's made of doesn't change. But his weight is 163 newtons. It's much less because the force due to gravity on the moon is less. The moon is one sixth the size and mass of Earth, and so the weight of the astronaut is one sixth his weight on Earth. This also means the astronaut could jump six times higher on the moon than on the Earth. Weight is the force exerted on a body by gravity. Force is measured in Newtons, capital N. An apple of mass, 102 grams, has a gravitational force, or weight, of 1 newton. The instrument that we use to measure the weight of the apple is called a spring balance, because it's got a spring inside of it, or it's called a newton meter, because it is a meter that measures in newtons. The Earth exerts a force of 1 newton on the apple. At the same time, the apple exerts a force of one newton on the earth. The mass of the apple is 102 grams. To calculate the apple's weight, we take the mass, and the mass needs to be in kilograms, so divide the grams by 1,000 to get the mass in kilograms, 0 0.12, multiplied by 9.8 gives us the weight of the apple, one newton. The moon exerts a force of 0.1 newtons on the apple. At the same time, the apple exerts a force of 0.17 newtons on the moon. The mass of the apple is 102 grams. To calculate the weight, we take the mass in kilograms. So take the 102 grams divided by 1,000 to get the mass in kilograms and multiply it by 1.625. That gives us the weight of the apple as 0.17 newtons. Pause the video now and answer the questions. When you are done, continue. Pause the video and correct your work. When you are done, continue. Pause the video and answer the questions. When you are done, continue. Pause the video and correct your work. When you are done, continue.
pause the video and correct your work. When you're done, continue. Pause the video and correct your work. When you're done, continue. Sources. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord show you his kindness. May he have mercy on you. May the Lord watch over you and give you peace.